Hello and welcome to Paws channel. Our video today will focus on the people who should never own a dog. Dogs require more than just food, water, and exercise. In other words, keeping a dog is a huge responsibility. If you aren't sure you're ready to put in the time and effort, it's best not to own a dog. Before owning a dog, the person should be confident enough to handle it. One needs to know the history of the specific breed that they are going to own and the amount of effort and time they may have to put in to have a well-balanced dog. Bad ownership leads to dog attacks and this puts both the owner and the public at a risk. In the first clip the man should have known his pit bulls are dog aggressive and should have avoided bringing them to a busy street. The pit bull owner had no control over his pit bulls. And as soon as they saw another man walking down the street with his Russell Terrier, they were ready to attack it. Fair enough that the man was trying to hold back his pit bull, by holding it from the collar. But low quality collar snapped with only couple of pulls by the pit bull. Kudos to the Russell Terrier owner that he managed to free his dog from pit bull's mouth, lifted it up straight away, and placed it on top of a car boot that was parked on the roadside. The pit bull's owner, who was already struggling to hold back his dogs with both of his hands, decided to take out his phone and call someone. By him not using both hands, the pit bull owner again lost control over his dogs, and one of the dogs tried to jump over the car boot to attack the Russell Terrier. Luckily, a couple of girls rushed in to pull back one of his pit bulls and this gave Russell Terrier owner a chance to quickly move away from the scene. This man shouldn't own a single pit bull let alone the two of them. Weak owners like them give breeds a bad name, control and training is the key to have a balanced dog. In the second clip, a lady was having an argument with a man over bringing his aggressive dogs to a residential area. While the man was having an argument, his other friend decided to unleash his pit bull on the lady. Luckily the dog didn't go after the lady as she quickly flee the scene. However, the man who started an argument with her and who must have been justifying his action of letting loose his pit bull in a residential area got attacked by his own pit bull. Out of frustration, the angry pit bull attacked his own owner and grabbed hold of his hand. He got the taste of his own medicine within no time, as they say karma is a bitch. In the next clip again a pit bull owner was walking his pit bulls with no leash on and they attacked a poodle. Poodle owner laid on top of his dog, to protect it from the attacking pit bulls. We just can't understand that why would someone walk their dog aggressive pit bulls without a leash in public places. And it's not just about pit bulls, any dog breed that has anger issues and can be a potential threat to other pets or public should always be kept on a leash at all times in public places. Luckily an old man was around at the time, and he threw the leash that came off of the poodle, to the pit bull owner and asked him to put it on one of his pits. What's his name? Oh, okay. It's a it's a female. It is. Is it a boy or a girl? He's pretty chill. He's wagging his tail. In the next clip, both the Rottweiler and Pitbull owners failed to understand the body language of their dogs, which could have ended up really bad for both dogs. 
As you can hear the rot's owner saying he's pretty chill, he's wagging his tail. Tail wagging doesn't always mean that the dogs are in a friendly mood or are okay about what's going on around them. In the next clip a pit bull owner purposely unleashed his dog on a cat. Luckily the cat got away before Pitbull could get to it. Now these are the kind of owners that we always talk about. It's not the breed that's to be blamed in most cases, bad ownership leads to a lot of dog attacks. In 80% cases it's the owners that are responsible for dog attacks. In wrong hands any powerful breed can be dangerous. In the next clip another stupid owner who left their front door open for his pit bulls to walk out of the gate. We won't believe it for a second, if someone says this would be the first time his dogs behave like that. These dogs must have a history of being aggressive towards people in the street. Yet the irresponsible owner didn't care much and left the gate open for them to escape. As soon as they came out of the front gate of their house, they ran towards a woman who was passing through the street. Luckily a man was around that time, who rushed to grab hold of the dogs. An irresponsible dog owner shall be penalized in one or all of the following ways. They shall be ordered to surrender all of their dogs to animal control authorities and to refrain from owning one in future. Or government should pass a law of having a license before owning certain dog breeds. There should be a proper training and test at the end, so that every Tom, Dick and Harry doesn't own a breed that they can't even control. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.